Howdy folks, I'm a very large spoon. I'm Amber. And here's some Reddit. So I just want to give you folks a heads up. Amber's voice wasn't feeling so well today, so she's taking a break so she can save it for tomorrow. So don't be distressed, she'll be here tomorrow during our live stream. You'll see her then. Our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for walking out of a co-parenting meeting that I planned? So this is a throwaway account because it's a little too messy for my liking. I'm a 22-year-old female and I broke up with my ex, Tyler, a 26-year-old male, after I caught him cheating with Tina, a 19-year-old female, seven months ago. Tyler and I have a three-year-old baby together. When we broke up, we sat down and discussed custody of our kid. He is supposed to have our kid every other weekend, but he visits every few days and takes our kid out after work. Overall, that part has been okay. Bad boyfriend, great parent. After Tyler and I broke up, he immediately started dating Tina. She has been the only issue with us co-parenting so far. She's convinced that I'm trying to get back with him, and she's constantly saying she's going to adopt my child and that I'll never see my baby again. I've talked to Tyler about this, but he won't have any of it and thinks I'm just trying to start stuff with Tina. I'm not. I don't want him back, hence why I left him. Here recently, it's like been in the past few months that she's been trying to lay down the ground rules with our child, aka baby can't have sweets, baby isn't allowed to have a babysitter without her approval, baby's bedtime, what he eats, what baby watches, what baby plays with, who the doctors are, etc. It's been a miserable experience arguing that she's not the baby's parent and she needs to back off. Anytime Tyler and I get together to discuss anything to do with the child, she's there talking over me and acting like her word is law. Lawyers. Yeah, custody OP. agreement now. Lawyers. Now the big problem. I call Tyler and ask to meet up at the park to discuss preschool while our kid played. I told him I didn't want Tina there as the discussion for us and our child's parents and we did not need her input. He agreed and we planned to meet yesterday. Baby and I got there first and he was playing on the playground when Tyler showed up. Guess who was there with him? Tina. I tried to grin and bear it and just have the discussion, but Tina started in. She didn't want the baby to attend a public preschool and she wanted to homeschool him as it would be better for the baby's development. Anytime I tried to give my thoughts, she would talk over me. I finally had enough. I told her to shut her mouth, that she was not a parent and this wasn't her decision. Tyler got mad and said that she should have a say. I got the baby packed up, told him to give his daddy a hug, and we left, all while Tina was yelling and insulting me. I called Tyler later in the day to discuss what happened, and he told me I was being a bee. He said that I should have heard Tina out as she was only thinking about the baby. I told him no, she was only thinking about herself and I'm done talking about things if she was there. He got angry and hung up. I called my mom to rant about it and she said that I should have just ignored Tina and I was the one who asked Tyler to come out. She says Tina might be one day the baby's stepmom so I need to learn how to work with her but I don't know. None of this feels right. Am I the jerk? All right, folks. What do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Communicate through lawyers. Yeah, OP, at a certain point in time, you just need to communicate through lawyers. Like, there's just no fixing Tina at this point in time. She's convinced that you're trying to steal her man away. She's convinced that she's this child's mother. This is a dangerous kind of situation because if she escalates and, like, tries to take the kid from you or makes false reports against you, then this could get messy really, really fast. So, document everything document everything is all i can say and get a lawyer because this is going to turn into a messy situation faster than you can blink an eye so i would be careful here op that's my thoughts anyhow i don't think you're the jerk but anyhow take care and good luck get a lawyer Get an idea of your legal rights. Here in Wisconsin, if a baby's daddy isn't paying child support, he doesn't have any rights. The only good thing is his girlfriend is 19 and this may get old for her eventually or she'll eventually have a baby with him. By the way, your mom is wrong. Tina has no legal rights, period, and needs to be quiet. You're not the jerk. She's probably only got a couple of years before she ages out and he finds a new 18-year-old to cheat on with her. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, pretty much. Could be a coincidence that he's getting an older and his girlfriend stay 18, but I doubt it. 
Uh, yeah, it, it does not seem like a coincidence at all. Please talk to a lawyer, get custody, parenting time, and child support in an order. Get a lawyer, then a judge, if it was necessary to tell him that parenting is between parents and a girlfriend, can talk to him about decisions in private all he wants. But you are under no obligation to discuss your child with her, and she doesn't get a vote. Also, child support has nothing to do with parenting, time, or custody. Just because someone is ordered to pay child support doesn't mean that they will pay it. Insist on an income withholding order so money is garnished from his paycheck. Parenting time is when each of you sees your child. Legal custody is who makes major life decisions. If there is not a court order awarding custody, then it vests with the mother naturally upon birth. If the order just says custody and doesn't specify physical or legal, it's generally both. But you should check with a local attorney. That is some sound advice. All right. Our next letter is titled, Will I be a jerk if I refuse to help with my partner's daughter's grad party after I've been banned from attending? My longtime partner has been divorced for years. The divorce was acrimonious, and he and his ex-wife did not get along. We've been asked to host their daughter's graduation party at our home because my partner's ex dropped the ball and failed to secure the venue. I spent a week planning the party, making arrangements, and ordering materials to make her vision a reality. Well, a week later, she informed us that my presence would anger her mother. And under no circumstances could I attend the party being held at my home. I am expected, however, to devote my time and creative talents to making her graduation party beautiful. Will I be the jerk if I refuse to plan, organize, and decorate for this party? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. OP, you're literally investing your time, energy, and resources into making your uh, stepdaughter's party a reality. Tough noogies to her mother if she can't get along with you for a party, right? This is absolutely absurd. Who cares if it was acrimonious or not? You're not the problem. Now, I can understand her having a little bit more of a problem with you if, for instance, you were the other woman and you broke up the marriage or something like that. But for the sake of her daughter, she can get along with you for a day no matter what, right? And it still wouldn't be on OP, it would be on both of yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and this is, again, like, you do not need to be, like, if you're not going to be able to attend this party, then you do not have to lift a finger to help with this party, plain and simple. Like, it's a bit unfair for them to expect you to do all the heavy lifting for this and then just to not attend. I think that's just plain rude. So, yeah. I, I don't think you're under any obligation to continue to plan for a party that you will not be attending, especially when it wasn't told to you well in advance that you won't be attending this party. So yeah, not the jerk. Not the jerk. The daughter has the audacity to use your venue and give you an ultimatum that you can't attend despite all of your planning. Plus, does your partner know about this? Is he not going to stand up for you? Man, if I were you, I would pull the rug from the venue and tell them if my presence will anger your mother, I'm guessing my house, which contains many of my belongings, will probably irritate her as well. Go find another place. Mm -hmm. Like, why aren't they doing this at her mother, at her place then, right? Like, at the mother's place, if this is so, such an upsetting situation. It just seems like a power move on, on a certain level. And OP says, it will be held in our attached shop, not our actual house. They reached a compromise today. I can remain in the house where the party isn't, while his ex-wife can remain in the shop where the party is. They apparently expected me to vacate my house entirely. No, OP, this isn't even good enough. Like, this isn't a compromise. <laughs> you don't you, you don't get to be not invited to the party that you helped to plan. So just don't plan the party, OP. My partner has stated that it's his daughter's party and she, quote, doesn't want drama. So she will not put her mother in a position in which she will be forced to see me. He sees his kids four days a month and his ex-wife uses every opportunity to alienate them from him. Not to jerk, I would stop all planning and remove any financial assistance that you are making too. Let both your partner and his daughter know that everything is on them and that you will remove yourself as requested. Cancel anything that has been booked, leave it to them, and take yourself out that night. Book yourself a nice hotel room, have a great dinner, and turn off your phone. Have the night to yourself. And OP says, My friends were planning to attend to help with a party. We've decided to have our own party instead. Perhaps a memorial of my long-term relationship party. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sounds like OP isn't very happy. <laughs> well, I don't blame her if her partner's like caving to this. Yeah, he needs to really kind of grow a spine here. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverage of choice. I hope that you're having something tasted today, or at least water. Water's good and hydrating. <laughs> I have mint tea. Amber has mint tea. I'll let you guess what kind of tea I have. What did the electrician's wife say when her husband came home late from work? Why are you in so late? <laughs> Why are you insulate? Insulated. Like, insulated. <laughs> I don't... When I mean, you have to explain a joke, it probably isn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't say it badly so uh, that people would be... Because it's kind of hard to know what the joke might be saying if uh, you don't read it. <laughs> it's a terrible pun. And I have Mega Mint Tea. <laughs> Alright, our next letter is titled, Am I the jerk for wanting my boyfriend to pay me for the hair accessories that he dumped. That's right, folks. We've got a juicy one tonight. I'm a 27-year-old female, and I wear hair accessories, lots of them, and I have a huge collection of hairpins, headbands, hair clips, side combs, etc., and they're all of bright colors and funny shapes. Some people in my life consider it childish, especially my boyfriend. He thinks that I wear them excessively and said that they make me look like a teenager. Recently, he's been complaining about being too embarrassed to take me out or go anywhere with me because of my hair accessories, even though it's not a new thing. But he said that his friend sat him down and told him that his girl, me, was dressing like a little girl or a mentally, ch oh my, challenged girl, which makes him look embarrassed. He gave me an ultimatum saying that he won't go anywhere with me unless I stop wearing the stuff, but I refused. He stopped going anywhere with me and started excluding me from events that he went to. His sister's birthday was a couple of days ago, and he wanted me to go so bad. I said that I would still wear my hair accessories, but he threw a fit and refused. The next day, I found out that he took my entire collection away from me and dumped it into the sea. I was so angry that I unloaded on him completely. He told me to stop being childish and start acting my age. He even said that I should get therapy for whatever childhood trauma I went through that's causing me this regression. I yelled at him and demanded that he pay me for the entire collection, and he said that he can only offer to get me colorless scrunchies that women of my age wear, but I refused. His family got involved and his mom offered to pay me, but I refused to let her and I told her that her son is the one who threw it away. He kept refusing, saying that it wasn't worth fighting for and that I should learn to step out of my comfort zone and try new things, but I insisted that he pay me. His argument is that this is impacting his public image as well as that and he'd already spoken to me about it, but I ignored him. Am I overreacting here? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk, but dump him. OP, I hope that this is your ex-boyfriend. Honestly, you know, he does not like a certain aspect of your personality. You want to wear these colorful hair accessories because it's part of your style. It's part of your fashion. And this is how you choose to decorate yourself. If this is a boundary that he is setting, he is allowed to set boundaries. He is allowed to say, you know, I think that our we've grown apart in our relationship and I think I need some space and to move on. But he is not allowed to take your stuff and throw it out without your permission. Plain and simple. This is a huge controlling behavior. It's a huge red flag. And it sounds like he's expecting to stay with you after this. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely absurd. OP, you need to stand up for yourself. And you need to leave this guy because he's just going to continue to walk all over you and not respect your decisions about how you want to decorate yourself and how you want to present yourself. He's saying that he's embarrassed by you, but you, OP, should be embarrassed by his childish antics because he doesn't know how to behave like an adult. Plain and simple. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you folks think. Anyhow, take care and good luck. I warned you. I warned you. I, you know, like, <laughs> just absolutely absurd. I just can't believe the people like this. Like, where do they get off being like, 
I I warned you that I wasn't happy with this behavior you presented, and so my response is that I'm going to throw out your possessions because I warned you and that was good enough. No, these people are ridiculous, mm -hmm. absurd. Just makes me so mad to Thank hear you. people who do this kind of stuff. Like I want her to like go out and buy her all hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a. Everyone needs to start a fundraiser for uh, OP here and buy them all the colorful hair accessories they can wear. Not the jerk. This man is not the one for you, and he's the one that needs therapy for whatever is bugging him because that's not normal behavior. You don't obsess over your partner's fashion choices like that. And then the fact that he threw it all in the ocean, well. That's a whole other reason to choose celibacy over this mess. He's actively polluting the world because of his weird obsession about your fashion choices. You're going to hear all this a lot, but I definitely think that you should reconsider this relationship. Ah, yeah, the pollution part really upsets me too. And the fact that they were, you know, talking down and saying that basically OP wasn't of sound mind because they chose to present themselves a certain way ridiculous. It just makes me so mad on so many levels. Not the jerk, but she would be the jerk to herself if she stays with someone that's ridiculous and controlling. The only one that needs to grow up is him. This so much. I mean, what's going to happen if he wants her to have a child and she doesn't want to? Is he going to throw out your birth control? Oh, I know it seems like a leap, but there's also a body thing and I've seen it start with some stuff like that and slowly move to the level of being pregnant. It is, quote, acting your age to know your style and what you like and to stand up for it. You're absolutely not the jerk and your boyfriend hopefully acts by now since he doesn't respect you and only wants to change you to fit what he thinks is right deserves to get his butt kicked. Again, I don't condone violence like this just needs to be an amicable split. I really wish Reddit people would not be like, oh yeah, by the way, I think these people deserve to be assaulted for their decisions. It's like, yeah, I mean, guy's a slime bag, right? But we do not need to be randomly assaulting people because they're bad people. That's my thought. Edit to add, his image is getting affected? Please, he's being so immature. He's acting like a child that's, after not getting what they want, throw a temper tantrum and destroys things. It's abusive red flags galore. Major warning for future physical abuse. I'd say accept his mother's money and then post all about it online to further humiliate him. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving me a like. And if you didn't, consider giving me a dislike. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you're having a very happy Friday, Junior. That's right, I remembered. So happy Friday, Junior. Happy Friday, Junior. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. Anyhow, take care, and I'll see you all later. Bye. Say you're all right, Amber. I'm all right. See, she's fine. Definitely <laughs> fine. Don't worry about me.